So unfortunately, today is a sad day because we had to get rid of the 2008 Chevrolet Tahoe that we've owned for close to 12 years. It was the very first nice vehicle that we've ever owned. We've cherished that thing. It's four wheel drive, 5.3 liter, probably one of the best gasoline engines ever made in a GM pickup truck. I need to step into my next big purchase, which would be a gooseneck trailer for the Denali L5P Duramax. Unfortunately, the Tahoe just does no justice for us. Now, I can't believe I'm saying this in 10 years ago, I'd probably punch myself in the face, but my minivan is actually more practical than my Chevrolet Tahoe. Between my wife, myself, and four kids, and possibly two dogs that may be crammed in there somewhere, I find that very difficult to put everybody inside the vehicle when the van, all you gotta do is push a button, the sliding doors open, you have captain chairs, you can fit everything in there, even your groceries. I decided to go ahead and sell it, and no, I didn't sell it on Marketplace. I didn't wanna deal with anybody. I actually just sold it to my local dealership here in town. It gave me a sizable amount of money for it because in today's market, a four wheel drive SUV or pickup truck, you're gonna bring top dollar. Moving forward, I'm selling a few other items that I own that I never use because I'm trying to make enough money to afford a gooseneck trailer. And the biggest reason for that is because I have this sketchy 20 foot trailer. I have these put on ramps on the very ends of them. The welds are all jacked up. As a matter of fact, I didn't tell you about this either. I didn't even make a video about it, but. I did fall off the trailer. I was leaving Wisconsin. I was loading my LBZ Duramax on the back of that trailer. And unfortunately the ramp kicked out and the truck actually fell off the trailer. Luckily, no, there was no damage other than the traction bars, which really wasn't a huge deal. But luckily my good friend, Mark had a forklift at his house. He was able to just pick the truck back up from the back and just get it right on that trailer, just nice and neat. Don't get me wrong, that trailer is a beast. It's a 14K trailer, two axles. It can handle the load, the heaviness of what I'm trying to do. The trailer is just too small. It's not practical anymore. I think it's time to go ahead and just step it up. Now, if you've lived in a cave and you're completely shut out from the world, just so you know, the market is completely inflated right now. So buying anything here in the US of A is gonna be extremely expensive. But after dealing with the sketchy trailer, I think it's time to go ahead and just pull the trigger on something nice, large, and I don't have to worry about anything. I can set it, forget it, and just enjoy my trip. So this may not be a big deal to you, but it's a huge deal to me. I want you guys to watch this video from start to finish and watch my journey. I find a brand new gooseneck trailer. I don't wanna go used, I wanna go brand new. So I'm gonna go ahead and search and see what I can find. And then I'm also gonna reveal exactly how much money I'm gonna spend on this thing. And then one more thing before we get started, watch till the very end of the video because I will be announcing the winner of the giveaway truck, the Cummins giveaway truck that we've been running for a month now. I really don't wanna call this truck a giveaway truck. It's more of a fundraiser truck. So that the money that you contributed is going to such a great cause to help out American veterans. I wanna give a big shout out to everybody that's participated. So again, watch till the very end. I'm gonna be calling the winner to get that person's first reaction. So without further ado, let's get into this video. I'm not gonna haul anything that exceeds more than about 10K because I mean, realistically, I'm just gonna put one diesel truck on there. So I'll get back with you. I'm just gonna go ahead and look around and we'll see what we come up with. So this is a Diamond C 20 foot deck and five foot on the dovetail. So basically what's on the back here, these are foldable ramps and they lock in the upright position. All these are built a lot heavier than most manufacturers build them. Uh, the the bracing in here is a lot better than most. But... I like that you can lock them. I think that's kind of sharp. Yeah, these this latch system here is the, one of the better latch systems I've seen. Okay, it locks it nice and tight when it's down on the deck. Rear axles with just four tires on the ground, it'll keep me within compliance, from my understanding. If I was to do the eight tires on the ground, then I would need a CDL. Is that right? Correct. Okay, so I got to stay within that limit right there. Well, the Diamond C brand itself are they pretty good? They're one of the top brands that we carry. You got a fully engineered neck here, which is one piece. Uh -huh. You don't have the triangle piece here that most manufacturers have, which means you don't have the high pressure points in two spots. It's gonna be distributed throughout the neck here. Uh, and then on the I-beam frame, it's fully engineered I-beam. You got an I-beam that gets smaller as it goes over the axles to give you a lower profile. The frame is lighter, but yes, yet just as strong. So, Phil's has been pretty helpful. Got off the phone with Mark, he's saying go 25 plus three, if I'm not mistaken. And they don't have those in stock. This is a 30 footer, I just found it. He's gonna go back, crunch some numbers, figure out what we can come up with. I'm gonna be completely transparent with you guys. I am overpaying for these, for, for this unit right here. These units, whichever one I go for. But the market right now is just so jacked up, inflated. We're talking like, 50% more than if you were to buy it two, three years ago. So I gotta kinda eat it. But this is a 30 footer, let's look at it really quick. 
All right, so Diamond C, from my understanding, they're actually better than Big Tex. Um, and then the construction of the actual gooseneck itself is a lot better. That's kind of cool. And then this is a receiver hitch. You guys are probably gonna laugh at me. I'm kind of a newbie. I don't know this stuff, but this right here will, will accept a winch, which is really neat. So I can take that winch, put it back in my box, lock it up. That way it doesn't get stolen. I always worry about that with my winch. And of course I can, you know, mount my battery, my solar panel and whatnot to charge that battery. But she's a big girl, guys. 30 foot trailer. Yeah, I'm a big girl. <laughs> You're not a big girl. It's a lot of weight, man. Now I gotta get, strap you down. What do you think, Mama? We just brought the minivan. We're gonna go ahead and hook it up. This is gonna be very expensive, but we gotta sell some things to, to buy this. We'll, we'll see what happens. Keep watching the video, guys. I'm not sure how this is gonna go. Just keep watching until the end. I may or may not purchase something today, but I'm serious. So, all right, let's keep moving. All right, so looks like we're going into the uh, top secret clearance section. He was able to find me something a lot cheaper, a different brand that's probably why but we're looking at a 30 foot trailer it's gonna be the same looking trailer look at that thing like that trailer that gooseneck would I easily fit man I could probably put that three on that yeah. you don't want one that big man during the summertime with the golf cart that'd be cool cruise around here and look at trailers but we're stuck in a minivan huh well it's not my fault only my fault we had four kids <laughs> that's true oh man Earl dump trailer service Look at that. So you have the dumpster coming. We have the dumpster coming for that. We don't need no dump trailer. Oh, yeah, the, the brand is called Load Trail. I'm just, I'm just shopping. <laughs> but for the price, I'm not gonna spend, that other trailer was $21,000, guys. This is way cheaper. Yeah, it's got a lower profile to it. Oh, the nose is down. Oh, okay. <laughs> it looked like it was shorter. No. That makes sense. Oh, the Diamond C does have a taller neck. Yes, you're correct. Okay. Yep, it does. So this is 30 foot trailer. Yeah, this is 30 foot. Uh, Diamond C is better if you have lifted trucks because <coughs> they automatically come with a taller neck. Yeah. That is one benefit. I also mount my winch. Where would I put it? Just put it right here? Right, you mount it on there. That's the winch plate. Okay. Yeah, I can tell the difference in the quality. Like the metal. I mean, it still seems like a decent looking trailer. It just doesn't seem as sturdy. Not, a, not engineered the same. Right. It's got the lockable ramps here. Ramps are a lot heavier. Are they? I'm alright with that. The spring assist is not the best. Latch system's decent. Hey, what's going on? Hey, so there's a company called Load Trail that makes these trailers too. Have you heard of them? Correct. Yes. Um, so I found, so I guess Diamond C is a really good brand, but there's a lesser quality type of trailer, I guess. It's a 30 foot trailer and it's uh, you only want 16.5 for it versus the 21 or the other 30 foot trailer, which they wanted 21 for. 21,000 is outrageous. I know, dude. It just sucks. <laughs> yeah. I'm familiar with both brands. Okay. Quite honestly, I guess I've never looked at any of those because I'm kind of I'm kind of a feather light guy. I love feather light trailers. Mm -hmm. I can't imagine how much one of those is nowadays. <laughs> Are they better than like Big Tex and stuff? What's that? Are they better than Big Tex? Oh, guaranteed. <laughs> You're not buying anything better than a Featherlight. Well, darn. Guaranteed. So if you want, finish up with him. And if you got time, give me a call back. I'm just at my desk. Okay, I'm going to send you the model number and whatnot on that trailer that I'm looking at that I'm pretty serious on. Okay. So, okay. all right. Thanks again, Mark, for all your help. I'm, I am going to go yeah. after the 30 footer though. I think that's some, my best bet. You, you're going to so. find that you're going to be able to balance the load on there a lot better. Mm -hmm. So yeah, okay. exactly. Cool. All right. We'll talk later. Thanks. Yep. You bet. All See right. ya. Bye. All right, boys. So I went ahead and dropped the truck off. This is a few days later yet. And I went ahead and purchased a 30 footer. Pretty excited about it, guys. I'm gonna show it to you. I'm actually, again, I'm here at the dealership and I'm gonna go ahead and pull up to that trailer right now. The salesman's gonna show me how to use everything. I'm not gonna document the transaction of the trailer, but I'm really pumped about this, man. This is a huge deal for me.
Guys, I am so excited about this, man. The truck is hooked up, obviously, to the gooseneck back there, as you can see. This is my very first time ever experiencing pulling a trailer with a gooseneck on it. And I gotta say, after the years of pulling a trailer, either a tag trailer or a bumper pull, um, I know there's no load on it, but I can't feel anything back there. Seems like it just floats right down the road, man. It's so comfortable. Yeah, this is a huge blessing, man. I'm gonna go ahead and bring it home and we'll go ahead and look over the entire trailer together. I'm also gonna tell you guys here later in this video what I exactly paid for this thing. You're probably gonna think I'm crazy. What are you doing, Earl? <laughs> okay, so now that we have the truck here at the house, we have to fire up the Cummins because in this video, of course, I'm gonna be talking about who won the truck. We have to get this thing on the trailer only because I have to transport this thing to the car wash, believe it or not. My hoses outside are frozen. Since this truck isn't plated, there's no registration on it. I'm gonna go ahead and just trailer it to the car wash. Now it sounds weird. <laughs> You're rolling, you're rolling. <laughs> okay, Earl, get out of the truck. These are heavy. I guess I gotta hit the gym a little bit more. Yeah, this driveway really destroyed your uh, trailer already. I think it's going to be a great opportunity to get it hooked up to the trailer and actually drive it and see what it's like so that's pretty awesome check this out guys we have the latches that lock on the ramps you can pick them up they're spring assisted we also have these cool little bars right here if i wanted the ramp to sit upright all i got to do is take that bar and clip it right here and it'll sit straight up so it'll give me extra room on the dove if i needed to the trailer is equipped with all led lights of course and spring assist which is so cool. A really nice deep toolbox in here so I can put my battery in it as well as my winch. Also, do me a favor, this deck. Let me know in the comments if you guys know more about this than I do. I'm probably going to use diesel oil, my used diesel oil that I have in the garage. And I'm probably just going to paint roll everything right on the wood just to keep it newer and cleaner. But let me know if there's some other better options out there than just that. But I do have a lot of used diesel oil. This is going to be such a nice tow pig, man, once everything's all squared away. I'll tell you what, guys, I'm really going to miss this truck, but man it's going to be so cool to be able to give back what you're looking at is a 30 foot gooseneck trailer it's called load trail i've been doing a lot of research on other brands these aren't really that bad okay i was looking at big techs really interested in that as well so i purchased this thing for sixteen thousand and five hundred dollars and you guys probably think i'm really crazy for spending that kind of money because 16k seventeen thousand dollars for a trailer like are you nuts um unfortunately i'm kind of at the mercy of the times that we live in, I don't really have a choice and I'm not gonna buy used. Well, that's one of the reasons we sold the Tahoe. Yes, yes, and that was sad. I uh, didn't get it on camera, but Mrs. Truckmaster was crying. <laughs> uh, but we do have to offset costs, guys. So what do you think about the trailer? It's really nice. I, hope that, it, I hope that it's uh, much better on the road for you when you're traveling. What's the hardest part about you seeing the Tahoe go? Uh, just the memories a lot of memories in it and it just made me sad i don't know i'm sorry we had it when got it when maya was a baby so well, had it for quite a while after inheriting the f350 60 power stroke you know then we have the lbc duramax we have the l5p duramax which is hooked up to the trailer as well as the legendary wife max lb7 duramax um oh and i don't forget the lmm we are trying to downsize a little <laughs> <laughs> the best we can. Yeah, we are trying to downsize. I know this isn't a downsize, but uh, to the offset well, cost on this too, guys, I have to sell my other trailer. No, well, downsize on vehicles, I meant. Right. But like my wife and I were talking about offsetting cost, had to get rid of the Tahoe. It just sits, doesn't drive. We do nothing with it. It actually has a lot of underlining issues. It runs perfect, but I don't drive it enough to justify to keep it around, so 
you know, it had to go. It's kind of sad, but you know, it is what it is. If you're watching this video and you know me personally, I'm sure you understand how excited I am to own this thing because the majority of the stuff that I've owned in the past has always been hand-me-down. I've never actually bought anything brand new. But you know, guys, I don't want any question. I don't want any doubt. But I just want that peace of mind. It's definitely worth it all. I gotta say, it's such a blessing to be able to afford that trailer but I'm gonna keep it for a very long time. I truly feel that this channel is just getting started. I just think it's so cool that we can keep you guys along for the journey, but that's it. We'll see you on the next one. Stay tuned. Just hopped in my truck. It's the very next day. Now that the drawing is completely over, thanks for watching until the very end. I'm gonna do my very best. I'm gonna try to get the person's reaction on video the best way I can. I'm gonna edit the majority of the conversation just because I gotta talk more about details and stuff like that but hopefully the person answers. If not, I'll send them a text message, and I guess we'll just go ahead and get back to the video until we can finally get a hold of this person. So let's see what happens. Every time I run one of these larger profile giveaways, I don't know why, but I always get nervous when I call them. <laughs> so, all right, the guy's name is Dale Woodcock. I'm gonna reach out to him right now. I have his phone number. By the way, I hope he picks the old school wheels on, for the Dodge, because I'm gonna ask him that question here on the video, and uh, hopefully he picks those, because I really want those chrome ones. If not, it is what it is, but those chrome wheels that are on the Dodge would look sweet on my blue Dodge Commons. But I think the biggest key on this one right here is that we raised up thousands of dollars to give back to the DAV. And it's a big part of what you guys did contributing to this. And I really appreciate your support. I really do, especially as a veteran. It's just overwhelming to see the amount of support coming from our American people that would actually participate in something like that. So I want to send a huge shout out to everybody. Unfortunately, there can only be one winner but hopefully this will make this guy's day. So let's call him right now. Hello. Hey, is this Dale? Hello. Hey, hey, is this Dale? Yeah. Hey Dale, hey, this is Josh, truck master from YouTube. How you doing? Good. Hey, so it looks like you registered for what, our truck giveaway for the Dodge? Yeah. All right, sir, I just want to let you know that you won the truck. Really? Yeah, you won. <laughs> I, I, I uh, picked the name last night after the contest was completely ended, and you're, yeah. you're the name that came up. I'll be damned. So, <laughs> congratulations. Thank you. Yes, sir, yeah. Um, so... I want to work out some details with you. Oh, by the way, we gave thousands of dollars to the DAV to the for all the support from everybody giving in for the truck as well. So it really worked out. Um, hang on, give me give me a second. I'm sorry. I'm, uh, my I live in the country, so my signal's horrible. Um, I do too. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering a good date a good day for me to transport the truck to you. Anytime. I'm retired, so I don't do anything. Awesome. Where'd you retire from? I had a masonry business. Oh, cool. Um, also, sir, I had another question for you. The yeah. truck, you have an option on that truck. So it's a manual Cummins 12 valve. It's, it's, yeah. it's, it's got the diesel in it. It runs great. It's it's a, the paint job's restored. The truck's only got, I think, 60K on it. Yeah. Um, it, I put the flashy show wheels on there. So you have your choice between those big 22 inch chrome rims or the old school bullet hole wheels with the, um, I believe they're Mickey Thompson tires. I can send you a picture. Uh, what do you like? The I'm old... just asking you which tire you like or wheel. Oh, I personally like the chrome rim. The chrome's fine. You want to keep the chromes? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm just curious, like, are you going to keep it or are you going to sell it? Because you could probably get 20 grand for that truck. To be honest with you, I've got an old 3 Duramax. Oh, nice. And it's all rusted out, and I've just been buying fenders and the hood stores and every, everything I need to redo it. I was going to restore it in the spring. I use the truck just to plow with, and that's the only thing it gets used for. Well, again, Dale, I appreciate all your time and your support. What made you want to give in to the um, drawing, actually? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you just never watching know. your channel once in a while, and you know, as well. Sweet. I had a few extra dollars laying around. I said, I want to do something with it. So. I hear you, man. I hear you. Yeah. All right, Dale. You have a good day. Thank you, sir. All right. Thank you. Bye. Bye.